Well, in our continuing effort to provide you with key information regarding new real estate laws and policies through our partners at Home Connect TV, we have real estate attorney David J. Heakin back with us. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. All right, we're here to talk about obviously the big news is uh, the tax, uh, the tax bill passing, and right. and all the effects that's going to have on many parts of our economy. But real estate, how's it going to affect us? Yeah, from a macro standpoint, there were two big changes. Uh, one was lowering the mortgage interest deduction from a million dollars to seven hundred fifty thousand, and the other was the state and local tax exemption. It used to be unlimited; you could deduct an unlimited amount of state and local taxes. That's now capped at ten thousand. That's really going to affect definitely, you know, more your wealthier and a lot of your blue states like California, New York, New Jersey. Not a smart people home. who moved to Florida. <laughs> That's right. Not no not where we have low median price here. So yeah. that. That, those aren't going to affect us much on the first coast. The big thing on the first coast that's going to hit us this year is the loss of the $15,000 hardest hit bond that's been out there for about two years. And that went towards the counties in the country uh, that were hardest hit by the foreclosure crisis. Duval was one of them. So that bond money has now dried up. That was a big driver of home prices and volume. So uh, definitely going to put some downward pressure on those. Uh, mortgage interest uh, claiming on your taxes, that's, yeah. that's a big one? Uh, yep, and, and a couple key victories that at the last minute were pulled from both the House and Senate bills, which are good. One was allowing mortgage interest deduction to continue on second homes, so that's good news. And the other was there was talk of moving it from two to five years when you could sell and not pay capital gains. It's always been you could move every two years, married couple 500,000 exempt, single 250. They were talking about moving that to five years. That would have seriously stopped people from moving up because a lot of people when they move up every two, three years and sell a house, they're counting on getting that profit and not paying any tax on it. That was a big win. There you go. All right, David, as always, thank you. And to learn more about this, go to heakinlaw.com. And as always, watch hundreds of homes for sale each week at Home Connect TV on ABC 25.